All right, yeah, so this deck is good for going second because you can disrupt a lot of your enemy's monsters and you do a lot of damage based on like, yeah, so I like here, you do 500 damage for each monster they control. Um, and this one, this is good for defense. All right, so this deck, this Bistio deck is like, Bistio cards, they're pretty good because there's one card in here that deals damage if you activate an effect from your hand. So, and this this deck I, I've seen like happen several times, so you get free 2,000 damage just from that. So, yeah. Alright, so I think we have a decent starting hand. It, it, it's ideal to get like Lava Golem in the hand, especially because they summon um, Baron. If you get Baron on the field, it's just over for you. Because like you're, you're, getting, you're getting two cards like wasted each turn. Alright, what does this card do? You can all right. So it's just fuse, like any card that has like a negate or destroy like is ideal not to be against. So as long yeah, I think this is a good situation. You know, brain infusion. Uh, this should be fine. Another fusion. Okay. Yeah. So the more monsters they have on the field, that's actually better for us because this card right here would do a lot of damage. Yeah. So there's summoning as many monsters as possible. It's pretty fine. But yeah, Snake Eyes is ideal for this deck because you can basically win in your first turn that you you can play because they spam the field is spammed at that point. All right, yeah, this Ice Blade Dragon doesn't really do anything. We just had to worry about not taking any damage because we only have one reflect. But if we can reflect that three thousand, then just we're, we're, we're chilling. Okay, so we get three thousand damage, six thousand. Oh, we win. Okay, we're good. So um, I'm gonna use a transaction rollback just in case. Uh, so yeah, all right. We're setting, we're just setting all our back row. Hopefully they don't have like uh like a, a, a harpy's feather dust or something. I forgot what the card is called. They have something 100%. Uh, I'm just gonna activate Pelusoic Morella right now. Just to get it out of the way. Mm, okay, now we have to send transaction roll back to the graveyard. Mm, I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna, uh, hopefully, they get four monsters. I just don't want to drop below three monsters because that isn't ideal, but. Yeah, we'll just see when they... Okay, they're gonna transition. Yeah, they're gonna swing on us. <laughs> Not gonna summon anything. Okay. Uh, okay, they brought one back. That should be fine. Okay, so they're gonna get four on the field, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they might get four on the field. Um, but that's, yeah, it's, that's even better because we do more damage to them. So. <laughs> yeah, we're just trolling. RS4, that's good. Wait, what is this? A quick effect? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna just pop both of these. Uh, yeah, pop this too. So we got 4,000 damage off of this. And I'm gonna I'm wait on, because I want them to try attacking into me first so I can activate Dimension Wall. Uh, so yeah. They'll never see it coming. All right, let's these. Uh, 1500. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Doesn't matter because we win anyways. Uh, no, nah, I'm just wait. I'll wait. I'm, I'm gonna draw it out as much as possible, okay? Okay, you lose 1500. Now you lose all your monster. I mean, all your life. What am I saying? I buy life points. I could also just done another dimension wall. Yeah, we'll just do just desserts. That's how you let's go. Easy does, easy does. What is this? Labyrinth? Okay, yeah. This oh my god. I hate this. I hate this deck, man. Cause it keeps pop it pops like everything for like no reason. There's one card in here that can pop a card either on the field or in your hand. And that card is like 
Yeah, you don't you don't really want to like go against that. All right, so we got Secret Blast. I think that's good, just in case, uh, because they're gonna try. Uh, let me just go to main phase two and set everything. Cause like I, I want to see if they're gonna like pre-fire on like somebody. Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's see. In this, yeah, in this case, I think you can run Chain Burn in your deck, and since it's since it's you can activate it from your hand because it's a quick effect, that'll be good because. I don't know how much damage you deal, but you deal damage based on how much the chain is. Alright, yeah. I think we're moving on Trap Trick, which is good for us. Uh, yes, continue main phase. Alright, we're gonna set Secret Blast in the middle. We're gonna never let them know our next move. We're gonna... We're just gonna place cards, like, randomly, you know? Oh, it's the Negate, right? Yeah. But they don't have any Dibels. Maybe it's in the hand. Okay, we're gonna send... A transaction rollback. Oh, they have a nib in there. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna activate. Yeah, I'm gonna do secret blast. Cause, cause now once they get the Dibel Star, is it Dibel Star? Or Dibel Star. Let me check. Dibel Star in the hand. Um. Uh, then at that point they can negate so so we, we want to activate this beforehand ceasefire hope like I don't know they might summon the Dibel star so we can save that hopefully and we can because we don't want trap trick to be negated at this point because it's like a it's like a backup at this point so we want to have two one like fodder on trap card that they can negate yeah okay um, I'm gonna activate Grave, Grave Digger's Trapple. 2,000 damage, so now 2,900. Uh, I think we should be good. Yeah, wait, wait. Because we, we do 2,100. I mean, no, we do... We have, they have 6 far in the field, so 1,800. So I can... 1,500, so that's 2,400. Uh, yeah, we have one trap trick, too, so... Yeah, I mean, we can also transaction roll back. We could transaction roll back the what is it? Um, Grave Diggers Trap Hole. What should I do? I'm gonna just activate this because you're gonna return one to the hand, and then that one card is gonna be destroyed based off of that. So, yeah, I think it's best to just do it now. And we also have transaction roll back in the graveyard, but I think that can be negated. I don't, I don't, I don't know what exactly that this trap card does. Um, I don't know if it can negate negates on the field or just a effect in general. So yeah. Yeah, I don't think I can chain off that. So I think that's just the best case. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm a set. Oh, I have an idea. I know what. I know exactly what to do. I know exactly what to do. So I'm gonna set a card and then make them destroy it. Wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do transaction rollback right now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, fifteen hundred. So they get nine hundred after. This also does fifteen hundred. Um. I don't think they're gonna negate it. If they do, they're smart. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's fine though. So they have twelve hundred. Effect resolve. Thank you. And now, all right. Wait, they still have five. What, what was the point of that? I'm gonna set. I just said, yeah, I'm gonna set it. Yeah, that's good. We're just gonna set it there. Hopefully, they destroy this trap, this trap card. Otherwise, we can activate it. Hopefully, this card destroys it. So then we. Let's go! You lose.
I love it. People don't read the cards, and that's where you take advantage of them. Let's go. And that's exactly how you win against Labyrinth cards when you're playing as Burn. Easy dubs. Please be a snake, guys. I need. I just need a snake, guys. We do have a pretty good hand right now. Oh, snake eye, let's go. Let's go. Actually, I actually haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! in such a long time. I don't know anything about like the meta in general. I don't know a lot of these cards. I think this deck is actually going to be really hard for the ban list. Like, I don't really think- I don't think they should touch this deck for the ban list, honestly. They should just introduce more archetypes. Um, and, and that can like, have like- I, I think that this deck is fine as it is right now. So, yeah. Okay, we're gonna summon the ship. Oh, they're gonna, they're gonna do some sound upgrade. Okay. I should play this deck again. I played this deck like when the game first came out. Like in the first week, I hit platinum, like plat one. And then I stopped playing until now. Oh, this is perfect. What the heck? Okay, they got 6,000 life points. Easy, easy dubs, easy dubs. Okay, we're gonna set Secret Blast in the middle. Because if they do do a destroy, that's where they're gonna do it first. And then we get 1,000 damage off of that. So, yeah. Uh, um, that's this card. Nope, Nightmare Phoenix, okay. Please remove Dimension Wall. Or this card, Secret Blast is fine. Oh, Dim okay, that's just fine. It's good for us. Either of those cards. Oh, your Secret Blast is actually not that ideal, but I'm glad they took Dimension Wall out. Because we also have Muhammad as backup, so that's good. One snake, guys. It's fine. I would just prefer you doing it during my turn. I mean, not my. What am I saying? Your turn. Because then I could activate the trap cards. Okay, that does 2,500. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1,500. 3, 50, 50, Wait, because I, I I did in the wrong order by accident. So, oh, they lose that joint. Let's go, easy class, and we get promotion off of that. Let's go, let's go, master four. Let's go. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna end. I'm end right here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to tune in to the next stream or video. Uh, follow me on Twitch and YouTube link in description or somewhere. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching and peace out.